Alright, so, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, before we begin, this is going to be the first video that I've done of Animal Crossing New Leaf in a long time. And this town was actually requested by me, uh, or not by me, to me, um, on the 3rd of March. And then it was actually requested again the following day by the actual town creator. Um, and I had been thinking about doing this for a long time. And, eh, I figured, I figured since a lot of people would want me to do it, do an something Animal Crossing related again. And I'm not going to be doing town stuff ever again because if you remember last time that um that made me pretty much quit because all i remember is trade 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 um and can i visit you visit you visit you and be my friend be my friend be my friend and no 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 and no so <laughs> I only accept friend requests from um, people that I've talked to for enough time to get to know them, so then they're actually my friend, not a random stranger or whatever. Um, and, um, no, you may not visit my town because you need my friend code for that. And, uh, I don't want to do any trades because I'm not technically going back to Animal Crossing. If I do, it's on my own time, my own game etc etc and um and there was actually one other thing i forgot what it was just now though however with that let's uh let's go in the bed and yes i'm only going to be doing dream towns and i'm probably going to only be doing dream towns like once a week or something so yeah um show me a dream show me a dream I'm in good hands. Okay, okay. Um. Now, I haven't done this in a while. Hope I think you connect first, and then you uh, are able to enter the town code. And I got the town code right on my internet browser right now. And it's version 1.0, but it could have been updated since then. So... Don't know if it's actually input, uh, if it's version 1.0 still, or if it has done some remodeling, which I might go back to a town eventually to, um, because I heard some things have changed in some of the towns that I, that I visited in the past, like the last town I actually visited. Um, yes, I can. The number is 4000 Nine three six five two four, and that should bring us to lavender. Hence, the um, well, it's not technically lavender. I probably should have cha color changed that a little more, but um, I mean that's the really the best I can do with the color changing. I mean, unless I want to make it look more. Um, that color, but I think I like the lavenderish uh, grass specks with a little bit of blue in there. So, um, yes, I want to visit this dream town. Everyone's been waiting for this for a while. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people. And there's 500. I got plenty more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I need a haircut, by the way, because it has been a while. Okay, turn down the lights. Sorry, I don't have a remote control to turn my lights off. But anyways, with that, let us go in... To the next town. Okay. 
And then, of course, you gotta use the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the good old 4 a.m. music. I still remember that. This was actually one of my favorite themes, because while it's creepy, it is also soothing to hear at night. Lavender. Alright. The most amazing time here in the dreamy may be nightmarish because I'm surrounded by graves. <laughs> Lavender. Alright. So it's actually 6.08 right now. It has been rainy today, but it's, uh... Yeah. I do like how... I do like the sprites, though. Okay, so where are we located exactly? What's what's over here? We got Bertha's house. I wonder if they've changed anything inside of the actual houses or not. That shirt looks very familiar. Or that person, I should say, but I can't really tell. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're leaving too. Knock, knock, knock. What's going on inside of a lavender house? Not sure which way to go first. Of course, you're using the creepy music that I can't check the s song to because the boombox face in the other way. <laughs> but I know that song. I do have that song. Zero zero six. Or upside down six hundred. Hmm. Well, let's check the back room. I always like going to the left, then the back, then the right, then upstairs, and then finally end at downstairs. Nine hundred? No, nine? Still confused about the numbers. I'm wondering if I went the wrong way or not. Hmm. I'm just waiting for one of the people to randomly pop up and scare the crap out of me. <laughs> I remember that from Ica Village. This must be three. Yeah, this is three. Okay. Notice the DLC bed. And then, what do we got going on upstairs? There's no downstairs. I noticed that. Twenty-five? <laughs> okay. I'm still a little confused by the numbers. I... I bet it might have to do with the lavender creepypasta or something. I've seen... I've seen... My share of creepy pastas from lavender, like that one very creepy Well, I do have to say, um 
nice use use of the mask and the uh um ninja hood um ah uh, i recognize you Got a lighthouse going. You got regular clothes on. Knock, knock. What's going on in here? Do you have different clothes? No, you're just a geek. No offense to geeks. I mean, I've been called a geek before, so... <laughs> I think I can use that term. Um, what is all the way over here in this very small, quaint house? Knocky, knock, knock. Luke's coming in. Um... What? Well, that's quite unsettling. This room's unsettling when I walked in. Especially with the very, very quietness of this room. God, it's freaking quiet. I hate, I hate when there's no noise at all. It just, depending on the mood. It... Well, I, s I can't really see it that well, but I did see the, uh, Rococo candles. Yeah. And the skeletons. At least he wasn't like right here staring, waiting to stare at me. <laughs> that would just creep me the heck out. Oh boy, now we're going right into the, uh... The music sounds... Whenever it starts up, it sounds so, like... You're now in a messed up town or something. That... That... That ghost art. I just like checking out the houses after I've seen, like, for example, Ica Village have... Oh! We have Coco here? Do you say anything weird? No, you don't. Oh, you... are you... No, I don't think so. I know... I feel like there was a, a couple villagers that don't say anything. But no, it's just regular personalities, not... Okay. <laughs> Follow me outside. Don't don't creep me out even more. <laughs> or no, creep me out more, sure. Hmm. I recognize this part of Lavender. That's one thing that always got me... They always got me. Why was Lavender inside, like... It was... In inside a cave. <laughs> okay. Got the nurse Joy. Ooh, 
I'm... Who am I knocking on? It's funny how a lot of these villagers I've had in the past, or have. Yeah, I think I got Sylvia! <laughs> And she told me to get out of her house. Lovely. Um, who lives here? Freya. Oh man, I haven't, I have not seen Freya since. Uh, well, I don't know if I've seen Freya in any of the Dream Towns or anything, but I know I had Freya in the original Animal Crossing. That's taking out of the character. I should stop exploring the houses. Obviously, they're not in correlation. But I will give it advice and say if you want to add a little touch to it, could give them a shirt, try to give them a shirt or something, but that's a little tough, too. Wait. Should have had the TV on. <laughs> that would have creeped me out. That's another good reason to have TVs. Yeah, that's just creepy. KK Marathon. Okay. You. Oh, this is Red Tux himself. That's what his house is. Okay, okay. Debt, debt advertising. <laughs> I always fi find that funny. Okay. Well, what do we got here? When I think of Old Man and Lavender, I think of the whole, the whole idea of who the old man that gives you the flute, who that is. Because I remember reading about it and how some people think it's uh, Fuji, the same guy that was at uh, the Pokemon. Like, there's a picture of Fuji on, um, in the Pokemon lab in Cinnabar. And I could go on a tangent with that conversation, but I won't. I just found that very interesting. Well, that music kind of made me depressed. <laughs> what the? That was kind of scary. <laughs> but at the same time, I thought we were just hearing... The standby. Luke's confused. Lullaby? Stale cupcakes. That's a weird name. 
Okay. So, I th think we've pretty much explored the town a little bit. Let me just check out some things, like... Sometimes some people have window, window up to give out designs and stuff, but sometimes they don't. Let me just check. Let me just check out this town a little bit. Let me just... Gary! No, blue. Blue mother effin' oak. Or as some people, or as one internet, uh, one internet, um, comic goes, douche. Like naming him douche after <laughs> seeing that, too. It's just too bad the guy c updates that comic like once every two months. Let's go to the beach. Great idea, Luke. Um, that is a lot of dinosaur. That, that's kind of unsettling in itself. Man, it took a long time to get all these... Wow! I find it funny how I say dinosaur bones, but, um, the first thing I hear is, a uh, man- or the first thing I see is a mammoth, which is not a dinosaur. Let's see, is there anything else I should be aware of? Doesn't look like it. Looks like I think I touched all bases with this. Watch there be one hidden house that does have a reference to it, though. Alright. So... Eh, not bad. I expected it a little bit creepier, but then again, I've been handed, like, a lot of creepy... Uh... A lot of creepy videos, but... Um, for the first English using town and stuff, this was actually not a bad little recreation, and, um, I actually did like the, uh, like the sprites that you could use, and I like how many signs and patterns you use, like, holy crap. Um, I didn't get the number reference, I might have to look into that. Or Red Tux might actually reply to this video or something. Um, and yeah, I did like the sprites. I did like the some unsettling things that were used, like house that was just filled with bones. I was like, what? That really came out of nowhere and is creepy with no noise or anything. Um, I could be funny and also do that. Nope, I can't. Nope, I can't. This is actually a really new made town. That's a good way to to do it. You keep the town at a certain point and use another game to get the items and stuff. And that way the user cannot go in on this tree and check out how much they time traveled <laughs> so um yeah with that um i hope you all enjoyed and if you are seeing this on april 1st congratulations because this is actually supposed to be my uh my double april fool joke my first one joke would be where you think that i uh or the first being that you think I hadn't started actually making this these videos and just pretty much say, yeah, right. And then if you watch the end of the video, or not the end, but somewhere in the middle, I probably will have 
the video all black and stuff and be like, Hey, hey, you want to watch this video? Click on here and you get to watch it on April Fool's. I'll be putting this up on April 2nd, though. Just a little joke, though. I can't... It's April Fool's. I, I, I had planned this for about a month or so. Because I know a lot of people wanted to do it. And my original joke was if I was still playing this, I was going to delete my town. But in actuality, I wasn't going to delete it. But, um... Yeah, my old joke that I was thinking about last year was deleting... Uh, Oralia, and then be like, oh my god, people, oh my god, you deleted your town? Yeah, no, that, that wasn't the case. So, I hope you enjoyed the little, little trick if, uh, you did happen to watch this on April Fool's or watch the other video on April Fool's, but find this on April 2nd. However, for the people that, uh, watch this on April 1st, of 2014 can congrats uh you found out the little button that i put on a on the video of darkness so <laughs> have a great day and i hope to catch you all next time